Hey, so this is House Reviews here, but I'm doing an analysis because I am here to talk about a documentary. Uh, I checked the doc documentary film I checked out last week. And the title is John Farnham Finding the Voice. Now, if you, now, those who don't know who I'm talking about, John Farnham is a famous Australian singer, probably one of the best of all time. And this documentary details, you know, his his pre his career, you know, from his early beginnings to to you know his well his peak in the eighties, you know, after well basically finding his voice and breaking free of you know what how he was stereotyped when he first began. That's what I'm trying to say. And you know, it's it's hard for me to do reviews for documentary films, so that's why I kind of like doing analysis with these and. You know, I saw this in a pretty packed uh, cinema, actually. I, uh, yeah, there was a lot of people there. Uh, a lot older than me, personally. But, uh, yeah, they... it's been a while since I've seen a documentary film. The last one I saw, I think, was Firestar back in 2021. Actually, now I think, actually, the cinema I saw that in it is shut down about a month later. So, <laughs> geez, that's been a long time. But, yeah. Point is, I like docu like watching documentary films, especially in theaters. So whenever I hear something like that is coming out, to take a look, see what's see what's about. If I'm interested, I go in. I was definitely interested in this, and you know, I was really impressed with what they did. I thought it was a really good documentary. Um, with all the people they interviewed, you know, there's a lot. Obviously, it's mostly for Australian. Uh, artists, performers, and musical music journalists, but you know there are also some. They also use archive footage because two of the interviewees in this are uh, Olivia Newton John and and John's uh, former manager, both of whom passed away last year. Um, and you know you see a few surprises. I mean, I was personally surprised to see Celine Dion actually speaking the documentary, even though it's only for one scene. But you know, still good to see her. You know, I. It's fun. It's funny when I watch documentary films. I just I kind of zone out a bit, and I enjoy. I try and just ingest the knowledge I'm being, being given, and that's basically what I get. You know, I hear good music of songs John John Farnham has sung in the past. Past, you know, I obviously hear about his his journey and all that, and you know, everything leading up to you know some of the bigger moments. It's kind of funny how much you don't actually know about people to you watch documentary films like this you know it's kind of something to keep in mind one thing i do wish that the cinema had got right and i'm not saying the film but the cinema was that they didn't turn off the lights when watching the for when the film started it, it took about five minutes for the staff to actually turn off the lights in the theater and yeah we were everyone in the theater was just annoyed by that but you know it didn't hamper watching the experience I'm not, and as I said, it watching documentary films are harder to score. Uh, personally, if I were to give us a score, I would probably give us an maybe probably an eight, an eight out of ten has stars. Yeah, you know, just saying, but uh, yeah, they're hard for me to full on give a full on review. But for what I can say is, it is a really good documentary. Definitely worth checking out if it if it's still in theaters, you know, and you know. It's kind of nice for me to, to watch these sorts of films where I don't go in with, you know, it's more of a relaxing experience where compared to some of the, a, the AAA films that, you know, I see most of the time and, you know, I'm going to be seeing next month. <laughs> oh, boy, there's, a, there's three big movies I'm seeing next month. Obviously, the next review after this in terms of movies will be Spider-Verse. Uh, then, of course, there's The Flash. And Indiana Jones 5. Cool. Plus, there's probably a few I've got to get ready for in July and you know, for the rest of the year. So, it, it's nice for me to just take a step back and watch a movie like this where it's not, you know, it, it's not as major as what you may think. I mean, and granted, I've seen a few, two other films I've seen this year. The Whitney Houston movie based on Whitney Houston, I Want to Answer Somebody, and, um, and the Air Jordan film, uh, or just called Air, you know, like. They weren't uh, as big, a bit as big as say something like the Super Mario Bros. movie, Ant Man three, um, uh, Guardians three, and uh, uh, even Demon Slayer to a certain extent. But yeah, I, I these this is a much more easy exp 
an easy experience because documentary films aren't well you know they're a different sort of class but yeah it, it's it's not it's a nice documentary i but we, it's hard for, i definitely think australian people should watch people in australia should watch it because that's where it is so yeah it, it's a fine doc it's a great documentary well i heard john farnham find the voice if you like it, if you like John Farnham, you'll enjoy this. If you like it, if you like if you're music fans, you'll enjoy it. Just overall good time. Now, as I said, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will be my next movie review. Whether or not this is my next video for this channel, it's hard for me to say. Because I might just get something done before I watch the film. So just keep that in mind um, that there may be another video coming up. But in the meantime, Master Master Reviews is out, and I shall see you in for my next video. Ciao!